Hello guys, welcome to Leaves and Lungs. So today we're going to see current affairs related to agriculture for the day March 10. Okay, so this is a giant hue BT developed cotton. So we'll just get started with the today's current affairs. So the first key, the first thing is like there are mega food parks being established in Maharashtra. So the first mega park is Varda Mega Food Park that is uh, established in Varda district. And uh, next thing is Python Mega Food Park that is in Aurangabad district and next thing is Satara Mega Food Park in Satara district so just remember the names so these names could be asked in your match the following and as per the scheme guidelines the time schedule for completion of a project is just 30 months from the date of issue or final approval unless, unless extended by interministerial approval committee so just remember the names very extremely important for your prelims so something about uh, the food parks so the food ministry has been implementing the mega food park scheme that is fm that is mfps to create modern infrastructure for the food processing so the scheme is mainly project oriented and not state or region specific okay so it is like project only the next thing is so under this scheme application for setting up of mega food park projects are invited through eoi that is expression of interest so like uh, this expression of interest is open to any state government any state government entities any cooperatives private sector companies or firms and even individuals are eligible to apply against the expression of interest so this will be uploaded on the ministry of uh, food minister food ministry website and this will be widely published in newspaper also like uh, there are like sanction the government has sanctioned totally 42 mega food park projects in the country and presently there is no uh, vacancy lot to sanction a new mega food park so these are the things about mega food park scheme so just remember these things alone these might be helpful in writing a main answer in either gs3 paper or also you can use these uh, in your uh, agriculture questions also okay so just remember the three food park names which is quite handy in your prelims and also know about the uh, mega food park scheme which is like mostly project oriented and uh, who are the players involved in this the second news for the day is subsidy to minimals of pulses has been given so the ministry of food processing industry that is mofpi has recently launched a centrally sponsored scheme so this scheme is called as national mission on food processing so like uh, they they have been implemented through all the states and union territories in the 12th plan so like the it was started on the uh, date of like uh, 1st of uh, april 2012 the mission was mainly implemented in the ratio of like uh, the burden of finance will be shared by 75 percent by the government of india that is central government and 25 percent in the state government in the normal state so whereas uh, for the northeastern states it is like uh, lightly 90 percent by the central government and 10 percent by the state government whereas in case of union territory it is funded entirely by the central government so just remember the percentage alone so these can be tricky and could be asked as your option in your prelims also so just remember 75 to 25 for states and for northeastern it's 90 to 10 and uh, union territory is 100 percent okay so like the grant and aid to minimums of pulses was also one of the activities considered for financial assistance by the states and union territories under this plan okay so this plan is mainly under the national mission of food processing so just remember these things alone and also the percentage of allocation of the funds to the states and uh, the union so the last time uh, Punjab agriculture university was in news was that they released many new varieties of rice and also many new uh, varieties of sugar cane okay for this time they came up with the bt cotton variety with reusable seeds so you know that the new cotton variety is among the very few others identified by Indian Council of Agriculture Research for cultivation in the North region, especially uh, the places around Delhi and Punjab. And uh, the three BT cotton varieties includes uh, PAU, BT1, uh, this IF, uh, F series and RS series. So just remember these things alone if you're preparing very core hard and die hard for your exams. Okay, so, though it's not uh, being tested with the varieties and all, just remember the name alone okay and uh, biotechnology so this bt technology imparts resistance to ball worms so ball worms are the main damaging uh, insects in terms of uh, cotton so they cause a major yield of loss yield loss in cotton and also the varieties includes 
Bolgard Mon 531 event that allows high resistance to cotton pest ball worm and carry this gene. Okay, so just remember the name. Ball worms are mainly related to cotton, and this is the uh, species name that has been launched especially for their high resistance. So a word of you about cotton. So cotton is the only genetically modified seed legally allowed in India. And uh, Punjab alone needs like 20 to 25 lakh packets of uh, BT cotton seeds for sowing of crops, which is roughly amount around 225 crores. Okay, so just remember, cotton is the only genetically modified seed legally allowed in India. Very very extremely important. So don't get confused with any other thing. So although many field trials of various plants are going on, cotton is the only genetically modified seed allowed in India. Okay, so just remember this thing alone. Very 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 important. Okay. And also the price of the seeds of this BT cotton variety shall much lower as compared to the current market price of BT cotton hybrid seeds and thus there's a scope to reduce the cost of cultivation and increase the savings of farmer okay so guys uh, that puts an end to today's topic so all the topics are very essential in terms of our prelims so do focus on the names alone because names are the things that has been testing in prelims also so just remember cotton and the three mega food parks that has been recently launched today so uh, that puts into today's topic so i'll see you tomorrow with the current affairs on for march 11th so guys do subscribe to our channel if you haven't and uh, do give your feedbacks in the form of comment and do share and like also so thanks for watching the video we'll see you tomorrow Bye bye